How's it going guys? I'm Ross from Seconds Out Fight Store. Please don't forget to tap the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying our videos. And you can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at Seconds Out underscore. For all the latest fight gear and everything we're looking at in this video, you can check out our website seconds-out.co.uk. In today's review, we're looking at the Sting Viper X Sparring Gloves. So if you haven't heard of Sting before, they're an Australian based company. They're most commonly known for uh, providing the gloves and head guards when they were used at the Commonwealth Games and the Olympics. So they're very, very well established. And as well as their AIBA products, they've also got a full range of standard boxing equipment. So gloves, head guards, protectors, wraps, pretty much everything you can think of. They're one of my favorite brands in the shop. We always sell a lot of their products from beginners to pros. Their quality and innovation and the technology that they put into their products is second to none. Now these Viper X sparring gloves are their top end boxing gloves. So we sell a lot of these to people that are really wanting to either protect their hands or that are training a lot at amateur or professional level. They come in 12 to 16 ounce. I think they might do an 18 ounce as well. I'm not too sure, I'll need to confirm that, but they definitely do a 12 to 16 ounce. So standard sparring glove sizes, depending on if you're a junior or a female as well. Um, you might go for the 12s but generally 14s and 16s is what we sell most of in these gloves so they come in this stunning white gold color and also this beautiful black gold color as well so depending on which one is your preference and then they've also got matching protectors and groin guards to go with that as well the packaging that these gloves come in is a sting branded bag as you can see it is very very gold <laughs> looks pretty cool it's got mesh panels on the side just there so you can certainly use this after you've bought the gloves keep it in your training bag to keep your gloves away from the rest of your training gear and um, if you've got say clothes in one side of the bag you don't want to have your minging gloves sweating all your fresh clothes so you can certainly use this as a carry bag after you've bought the gloves. These Viper X gloves are made from a beautiful full grain high-end quality leather. The gloves have an extra long wrist cuff to give you excellent support right down the forearm. This is a good thing and a bad thing. If you're a bit smaller, this extra long wrist cuff is going to sit like right up your arm towards your elbow and it's not going to be great for throwing punches and letting your hands go. So for smaller people, I might not recommend this glove as much, but for everyone else, it's really an excellent fit. If you prefer a longer wrist cuff, this is definitely going to be up your street. If you prefer a shorter wrist cuff, then these definitely aren't going to be the gloves for you. The other great thing about having a longer wrist cuff as a sparring glove is when you're covering up for shots, it gives you that wee bit extra protection. So if somebody throws a shot and you're covering up and it lands on your arm, you've got more coverage of the glove to help protect you instead of having that hitting off your arm. The Velcro strap just here, not the actual strap itself, the piece of Velcro. It is a very good quality piece of Velcro and that may sound quite trivial but the last thing you want is when the amount of times that you're going to be taking these on and off you don't want that piece of Velcro to start coming away and then you've got to replace it so it's very important a pair of gloves to have a really good quality piece of Velcro and these gloves definitely have that. So if we try the gloves on as soon as you put your hand in the glove oh my god these gloves are so comfortable it has let me just describe this correctly Comfort 3D Power X lining. That is for temperature and moisture management. That was going by Sting's own description. But you can tell for people like me and you who maybe don't know what that exactly is, um, you can tell as soon as you've got them on for the first time, it is super comfortable. It's like a really soft, like satin-like material on the inside. Very, very comfortable as soon as you put it on for the first time. And if we secure the wrist strap up just there, you can see that extra long wrist cuff so it does sit further down the wrist a standard wrist cuff would sit maybe to about say maybe about here a longer wrist cuff would sit to about here and that's got maybe about another inch inch and a half maybe two inches of extra wrist support on it well some critics to the glove might say that well this wrist strap maybe sits too far down it's actually it's not really a wrist strap it's a forearm strap because your wrist is basically in this section just here so as you can see there is still a bit of movement but I am going to have my hand wrapped, so that's going to give me plenty of protection. And this gold section just here really helps your hand from flexing up. You can see just there, there's no movement in this at all. And the quality of the leather is very firm, so it's going to take a lot of work for me to snap my wrist down. Like I said, these gloves aren't going to be for everybody, so don't think I'm just trying to give you the, the sales pitch here and give you all the good things about the gloves. I also want to tell you about some of the bad stuff that people report back on these as well. Like I said, not every glove's for every person, so it's just about finding the right glove for you. So that's the wrist strap and the wrist section just there. Let's move on to the thumb. The thumb placement of the gloves is absolutely perfect. My thumb doesn't feel like it's jammed up into that attachment just there. You can see that connects the thumb and the glove. Sometimes with gloves, you can get your thumb jammed up in there and it's really uncomfortable when you punch. And if you do happen to catch your thumb or punch anywhere near that section, 
your think your thumb starts to dig into it and it's a really uncomfortable feeling when you start using the gloves and you're punching over and over. But that's not the case with the thumb placement on here. It fits perfect. There's plenty of room in there as well. So if you've got bigger hands, these are still gonna be an excellent glove for you. And in terms of the actual thumb placement, it's not sticking out too far or anything. It's almost like it's like pushed into the glove, like glued into the glove. Perfect placement on the thumb as well for where it's actually positioned. The knuckle compartment, I can not even feel my knuckles through them. This is a 12 ounce glove here and I'm pushing down as hard as I can and I can barely feel my knuckles through there. So the padding in here is absolutely brilliant. If you're looking for something that's really gonna protect your hands well, maybe you've got bad hands or you just punching constantly over and over and you really want something that's gonna protect your hands, these gloves are excellent. You, I can just about feel my knuckles if I push down really firmly on these. But like I said, these are a 12 ounce glove. The fingertip compartment for me is perfect as well. For my average sized hands, it's perfect. Like I said, if you're a wee bit smaller, I don't think I'd recommend these gloves to you. The extra long wrist cuff is gonna sit too far up your wrist and the fingertip compartment, your fingers might sit a wee bit too far back. So if you've got average sized hands um, or you're a bigger person, then these are gonna be an excellent shout. The fingertips are still a bit of room in there. My fingers aren't jammed up at the end of anything. They don't feel like they're squashed in. There's a good amount of width in there as well. And for the actual hand itself, I've still got probably about an extra, maybe my hand sit stop about here maybe, something like that. So I've still got plenty of room to put wraps on as well. It doesn't feel like my hand's moving about too much at all as well. So for me, again, average sized hands these gloves are a perfect fit when we go to make a fist you can see just there that grip bar on the inside of the glove and making a fist that these gloves will take a wee bit of breaking in the leather is like i said a very high-end quality leather but it's going to take a bit of breaking in it feels a wee bit stiff to begin with but i can still make a fist easy enough but it does take a wee bit of work so maybe an idea with the gloves to just do a few rounds on the bag break these gloves in a wee bit before you start using them as your sparring gloves that being said although they're advertised as sparring gloves in my opinion you can still use them for hitting the bag we sell a lot of these to guys just using them for bag work so it's just personal preference a lot of gloves will be advertised as sparring gloves and uh, yeah it doesn't really make a difference in my opinion I've used loads of sparring gloves over the years for hitting the bag with and I've never found any problem with them overall I'm a massive fan of these gloves they are very comfortable very durable hard wearing they've got that real premium feel to them and if you're looking for a high-end quality glove for hitting the bag or sparring with then I definitely recommend these I don't think you can go wrong for 180 pounds it's a very well put together glove for that price so you can check out these gloves and lots more on our website at seconds-out.co.uk and of course you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at secondsout underscore. Don't forget to tap the subscribe button. We genuinely appreciate all your support. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.